Hi class, today I'm going to be reading you the book, Chickens Aren't the Only Ones, and it's a book about animals that lay eggs. And um, there are a couple clues about whether this book is a fiction or a non-fiction book. Right up here it says Explore Science, um, and this book is written by Ruth Heller. So let's look at the illustrations on this book and let's see if there's any major differences. So I noticed that this chicken looks really more lifelike, whereas this chicken looks more like a cartoon chicken. Maybe that's a bit of a clue, but let's find out what kind of book this is. Chickens lay the eggs you buy. The eggs you boil or fry or die or leave alone so you can see what grew inside naturally. Chickens aren't the only ones. Look at these. The pea fowl. There's a peacock and a pea hen, and there's the eggs. Every bird, wild or tame, does the same. The ostrich lays the largest egg. The hummingbird, the smallest. So look at the ostrich egg versus the hummingbird egg. And then look at all the different varieties of bird eggs. They're very beautiful. Chickens aren't the only ones. Most snakes lay eggs and lizards too. And crocodiles and turtles do. Are you learning new information in this book? I am. And dinosaurs who are extinct. But they were reptiles too. See, there's a baby dinosaur. Frogs and toads and salamanders lay eggs, and when they hatch, they are tadpoles who grow legs and climb a lily pad just like their mom and dad. So look, so here's how they grow. They don't have claws or scaly skin. They are called amphibians. So frogs, toads, and salamanders are all amphibians. Fish eggs float up to the surface or sink to the bottom of the ocean floor. It's very interesting. These don't look like eggs to me, but they were hidden in the sea. This one by a shark and this one by a ray is a mermaid's purse, they say. So both of these are called mermaid purses. And that's what um, a, a shark egg looks like or a ray's eggs. The octopus is said to shed 100,000 eggs, and then they hang them up in strings attached to rocks or caves. The moon snail's eggs are mixed with sand to form this color collar looking band. So those are eggs. Very interesting. Spiders wrap their eggs in sacks and snails, you know, are very slow, but they lay eggs that hatch and grow and so do and so do I apologize my pages. And so do insects, who have six legs and lay many different kinds of eggs. This one will cat hatch into a hungry caterpillar, who will grow and grow and grow, and then climb up a stem and change into this, a chrysalis, and change again one summer morn. That's how a butterfly is born. Animals with fur or hair who nurse their young and don't lay eggs are known as mammals or mammi or mammalia. Spine, this is a spiny anteater. But these two are two exceptions and they both live in Australia. So the spiny anteater is a mammal but lays eggs and the duckbill platypus is a mammal that, eat, that lays eggs. That's kind of interesting. Chickens aren't the only ones. There, no more, there's no more to discuss. Everyone who lays an egg is Oviparous. That's what they're called, is oviparous. Animals who don't lay eggs have babies born alive and well, but that's another tale to tale. And that is the end of our story. So, I want you to think. Answer the question, is this book a fiction book or a non-fiction book? 